Today's video is about Gynalurida, and it's two color forms here in the pet roach hobby. Comes in both the yellow form and then the more traditional porcelain form. Their common name is the porcelain cockroach, and they are definitely one of the prettiest species in the hobby. That yellow that shows up in the yellow form in particular makes it one of the most attractive insects and one of the best display animals. The adults themselves are pretty active on the surface while the nymphs tend to burrow a lot. Please enjoy the video, please leave comments, please ask as many questions as you like. I look forward to answering all of your questions about this species and I don't mind at all if you go off topic and ask about any other kind of insect or availability questions, anything like that. I'm always happy to help. I put my website up in 1997 and I've been answering questions here on Instagram and through email all that time. And I love every second of it. Thank you very much for watching. These are Gynalurida, call them porcelain roaches. You can see the porcelain coloration there on the pronotum of these two females. There's actually a yellower one in here as well. I keep the yellow ones in a separate bin generally. They produce a lot of yellow ones in that bin because they were selected for, over the course of many ge generations, for their yellowness. This one here is one of the more yellow ones I've ever seen in this particular bin. I have never mixed the two since I got them. And the nymphs are quite small, but also quite pretty. Let's see if I can grab one up here. They're very quick and they also dig rather immediately. So I'm going to showcase some of the roaches that I keep in tonight's video and maybe talk about care a little bit. I often pinch a piece of paper towel like this in between the lids and the container bases to help prevent escape on a species like this, which climb very well. But really it's the males, unlike these heavier females, that are extremely flighty and prone to escape. I need to put this lid over here too because we don't want to contaminate the cultures, cross-contaminate them. So these are males here. They're yellow form males and you will often see them up near the edge when you open the container. I usually knock them down and then in addition to that I kind of spray along the edges here and that helps while I'm working in the bin to keep them at bay. See if I can find a larger yellow female in here. The males, you know, they, they really do want to escape. I'll hold the camera back here so you can see how quick they are. So a lot of people are always asking me why I don't show videos of my bug room and give the tour and things like that. And the reason for that is because I've been keeping most of my cultures of these roaches for so long. I don't keep anything in display tanks. And so everything is just highly functional, you know, with, with that lid right there and then the paper towel which nestles in between so that even in the smallest of gaps, things can't escape. And these are some pretty common foods that I feed to the roaches. Just kind of sprinkle them in there like this. There are a lot of roaches in there. I don't like dealing with... Um, mold and spoilage issues and stuff like that. I don't like coming into the tank um, the next time I pack an order or a week later uh, when it's feeding time again and finding that uh, there's mold growing in there. And so this is kind of the standard amount of food that I give them. And then I usually put one or two of these jelly cups in here as well. And that both serves as something to hydrate them and as a food source. You can see that they love it. 
they go right for it as well as all of the other foods roaches of course aren't terribly picky about what you offer them i often recommend that you simply let them have what you're having leftovers from your dinner table for example these colony pets a lot of people come into the roach hobby through the reptile hobby they start out by keeping some of the popular feeder species like Blaptica dubia and through watching them they start to fall in love with them find them to be pretty fascinating pets in their own right colony animals unlike tarantulas and mantises which don't do well in communal setups Lots of interesting behaviors in roaches, too. You can check out one of my earlier videos. I'll put a card up for Blabberus giganteus, the giant cave roach. The way the males lift their wings to offer a sweet bribe to the females, who then allow the males to mate with them. So this is my routine tonight. Got some cut-up carrots. I like to offer very small bits of food, something that the individual roach can carry off. They like to have a little room all to themselves, prefer not to share with others. These fish food pellets, they are cichlid fish food pellets, protein-based foods, and they will soften up a little bit here because of the moisture that I put in the tank and that will make them more accessible to some of the younger roaches that aren't able to carry them off. And then of course the larger roaches will feed on these pellets too and make them smaller and then the younger roaches will be able to access them and carry them off if they want to. I've probably been keeping this species for mm -hmm, probably about a decade. And they are definitely one of the most prolific roaches in the hobby. The nymphs burrow a lot. They're up at the surface right now because I just put a bunch of food in the cage. It's always a really great time to make some observations about the animals. You can see in this shot both the female, the larger one on the left, and the male, and again, both the yellow form. And nearly every roach produced in this colony will be very yellow like this, whereas in the other culture, the yellow ones are comparatively rare. Of course, this is definitely one of the most colorful species in the roach hobby. Even in the insect hobby as a whole, that kind of yellow, you just don't see that on hobby insects all that much. And in this species here in particular, against that yellow background, you also see sort of a butterfly shape there on the pronotum. Sort of a roar shock butterfly. Maybe you see something else. Feel free to comment down below and tell us what you see and maybe we can have a psychologist come in a little bit later and tell us why roach keepers are all the best.